What's going on, everyone? So today we're going to look at Shiba Inu. Sheep and is Robinhood going to put Shiba on their platform? Well, let's take a look and deep dive into some things I found. And and first off, let's just look at the current price, right? So we have at 0 0.00001573. Market cap at 6 bill, 6.2. Volume isn't that high. It looks like it's down almost 50%, 2.3 bill. So that's definitely something to keep an eye on because volume equates to demand. Less demand, most likely the price does not uh, go up uh, typically, right? At least with these um, historical um, volume numbers. But right now, what happened? What's going on? So the charts, I mean, you guys probably been seeing it pretty much went crazy. Tried to become the doge pretty much, you know, um, killer they stated or the replacements. Massive sell-off after the whole um, Vitalik stuff, which actually I'll, I'll bring up an article and show you like the little updates in case you have no idea. And then looks like it did bounce up slightly, but I'm not going to deep dive into the charts for this video because it's not really important right now. But in general though, do want to mention is the overall market is taking quite a beating. So... Regardless of um, what cryptocurrency you're focusing on, the top ones right now are still dropping significantly, and that's basically going to bring the entire market down. So again, short term, I don't think it's that um, big a deal, assuming this is in the top. But if it is the top, then that's a completely different story. But I'll make updates on that and um, when that happens. But let's just see what's going on with um, Sheep, first of all. So here, let's just do some um, history. And guys, remember this video is... My own opinion, this is for entertainment purposes only. This is not financial advice. Be sure to do research before making any investments, especially in super risky cryptocurrencies like Sheep. Now, here is just a quick, this article does a really good summary of what happened basically in the last week. So in case you guys don't know, keep you guys on track. They gave Vitalik, aka the founder of ETH, a large sum of Sheep, aka it was like 50% pretty much. He ended up deciding to donate 5% or a billion dollars, I believe, worth at the time to some um, fund. And then that basically caused everyone to panic. And then next thing you know, it, he pretty much uh, apparently burned uh, a lot of the remaining sheep that he had. And then pretty much at that point, um, you can see it was worth around $7 billion or 90% of what he had. And then apparently the remaining sheep that he has, he's just gonna donate the rest of charity, right? So one thing is he did say is don't send him any more cryptocurrencies to use him as marketing because he's most likely not going to treat it, I'd say the way he did this time. But um, I definitely know he used sheep as the example and other cryptos that people sent him to say like, hey, look, this isn't um, a game. Like, you know, if you're gonna send me something, I'm gonna utilize it um, accordingly. And so far, in terms of a burn, basically, if you guys don't know, it's pretty much what happens is you have, let's say, a bunch of um, something, anything, right? For instance, here be um, supply of tokens, right? And if you burn them, pretty much half, you have less supply, right? So if you have less, guess what happens? It becomes more scarce. And typically, when things are harder to get, guess what happens? The price can increase, right? Well, at least that's what um, basic economics would um, state, but that only would make sense if the demand is also high too, right? Because if you could have, let's say, for instance, some car from like the 1900s, yeah, it might be very scarce, might be the only one. But if no one cares about buying that car, then it doesn't really matter, right? So um, that's definitely something to consider. So in short, the uh, burning definitely is, a, would say, a positive, but it only makes sense if the demand is going to increase or at least has a significantly higher demand, right? So that's just some quick takes on that. And um, other than that, I mean, that's pretty much this is the main highlights. Now let's look at this Robinhood post I found. So I saw this on Reddit and if you, I don't have Robinhood, so I can't like screenshot this stuff. But if you do have Robinhood, feel free to comment below and then um, share either if it's accurate or if this is, you know, just somebody like trolling. But it seems like a lot of people have um, agreed with this, so it seems like it's fairly um, accurate to my knowledge. And in case, just fun facts, I'm not messing with Robinhood just because I was following it with the GameStop AMC uh, madness and them stopping trades. Also, I had friends say some things about them, which I won't comment on, but I just rather um, use my uh, assets or my investments on a different uh, platform. But either way, if you can see giant little uh circle right here yellow circle right there 
And let's just read behind it. So pretty much it says, moving forward, we plan to support the ability to buy and sell other cryptocurrencies such as Shiba Coin. And we'll be sure to let you know as more become available. Now they do say something that's interesting. Keep in mind that supporting market data for individual cryptocurrencies doesn't necessarily mean we plan to add buying and selling. So I think this is an interesting um, worded uh, sentence because it doesn't actually say it's going to put Shiba, but it says it's going to uh, plan on adding support for cryptos such as Shiba. So that's, I'm just looking at this from like the opposite of you. Obviously, if you're following and you're like, oh, this means it means they're putting it, then yes, we might, um, we could, but we won't know until it actually happens. But I'm trying to look at this from a different perspective because wording in here is extremely important, right? And I've seen people say Robin Hood words some things like, I'd say sometimes no, not the best way to where it confuses some people. And especially for like stocks or some things that are going to get delisted, Sometimes it gives you like a warning, I believe. But um, either way, what are my thoughts? Do I think they could actually list Shiba? I mean, at this point, it see Robin Hood looks like from you know the GameStop, AMC, that they're most likely for profits and they care about making money. Obviously, it's a business at the end of the day. And if they were to put these cryptos that get a lot of volume traded, then they would make a lot of money from pretty much get the fees and however else they utilize their business model. Now, typically. If you guys have been following the space for a while, Coinbase was, at least in the States, the um, original, the top app that it only had Bitcoin, ETH, and then Litecoin. It only had three cryptocurrencies. Like So you see all of the ones Coinbase has now, and you can even see Robinhood has all these random ones now too. These these weren't even on here, like BCH, um, ETC, BSV, all of these other cryptocurrencies that um, you see all these apps that are currently traded weren't originally on these um, platforms. And Coinbase originally only took like legitimate coins that they had, you know, vetted, had a lot of people and they just made sure it wasn't some random crypto. So, I mean, here's Shiba. If you guys like to look at the um, charts, just to check back at it. To my knowledge, Shiba's only been out for a few months. And based off the um, all time chart, it starts it at like, looks like July 20 or basically July, August, but nothing really happened until now like in this era so i don't know why i haven't been following it for that long but it doesn't make sense for nothing to happen here but then all of a sudden now it has people trading it so it doesn't even look like there's volume here if you can see the volume on the 24 hour if i go back and um check it out hold on change the date well, let me see if i can switch it back yeah so like for, for the volume it literally you can see here some volume it's like 20 bucks 30 bucks 200 like a penny and you can see like almost nobody was trading this, right? Now, I think that's um, an interesting thing because it says they plan on adding the ability to buy and sell other cryptocurrencies such as Shiba Coin, but doesn't say we are going to plan on adding um, cryptocurrencies. Like, why would they say Shiba Coin and not like any other crypto on the like top 100, right? It just, I think it's um, an interesting play. So if they do launch it, let's just say they do actually put it on um, Robinhood, right? That's that's gonna be that's gonna be big. And why do I think that's gonna be big? Because Robinhood has a ton of users, right? So I try to find their um, trading volume. I couldn't find that like data because it's easier to see it on Coin Market Cap with like crypto exchanges. But for Robinhood, um, it's not the same. But here, apparently, as of twenty twenty, so this was last year, pretty much, they say they had thirteen million users now. Current volume is at 2.3. And if we look at the market, the uh, let's see here, Binance and Hubi pretty much dominate the trade volume, right? And these are mainly um, Asian exchanges, right? I don't see Coinbase anywhere and some other exchanges, obviously. But you can see most of the volume is going through basically two exchanges, right? And then everything else is just, you know, additional resources to do it. But look at that, like basically 50% is from these um, two, 50, oh, more than 50% actually. Just just from the first pairings of USDT, it's already 50% pretty much. And then obviously you got another, another pairing, it's like 5% here. So having access to it with um, an easier method, which is Robinhood. That's why Doge, I think, what did so well because people could buy Doge, at least in America, fairly um, easily on Robinhood. And then now only after the um, craziness is when Weeble added it and then um, other cryptocurrency exchanges are planning on doing it too. 
So I think volume is definitely a big play in this type of coin. Because again, guys, you probably see my other videos on how I feel about the actual coin and what it's... um technology problem problem solving future is and obviously this is just a meme coin there's not really any um i say major use cases compared to legit projects but in terms of just straight trends i've noticed and how things have moved basically things that get marketed properly that have the volume tend to increase in price now again will this sustain well like i say the main thing is is um if it were to land on Robin hood yes the volume could increase some um, in the short term but in, um, in general, if the market does not recover and it just continues to drop um, it, next week and continue till summer, then these all these coins that apparently didn't have any real um, problem or um, solution and they're like the super cheap ones will typically dump very quickly in a bear market. So we won't know until we get confirmation on how the actual market is doing. But overall, this post showing Robinhood um, potentially um, listing sheep, I think that was pretty interesting. So um Definitely do let me know your thoughts, your um, things on Sheev. Do you think Robinhood will actually post it and actually have it trading? Or do you think this is just marketing stuff they don't really know yet? Let me know in the comments below. And aside from that, I'll see you in the next video.